Alright, bad news super lovers, maybe not bad news, but here's a, a substantial update on the first rental Supra. It's also going to be my last rental Supra because this car sucks as a rental car. Sucks. Like it's the worst car that I have ever purchased in 17 years of doing this for rental. And I've, I've yeah, even the Selena 7, which was a terrible rental car because nobody could drive it and it was very difficult to operate, that still went out. This doesn't go out at all. And just to prove my point, I mean, I drove it down from, uh, from New Hampshire, Vermont, wherever I got it, Vermont. And the car now has 316 miles on it. Look at this. Boom, right? I put... 290 something miles on it. So I parked the car with 300 miles on it. It has seen 16 miles since then. Most of that was Shavam saying, I want to drive it around the block or everybody else I know saying like, oh, cool. I'd like to drive that, but nobody wants to pay for it. Now, why am I saying this is a terrible rental car? It's reliable. Yeah, maintenance probably pretty cheap, but it costs $57,000. And while I'm renting this car, Every other car I had is sold out for the past two weekends, right? Two weekends. So now I'm, I'm giving this thing the, the benefit of the doubt that there is market demand there. I had Tommy, Tommy F. Yeah, check out his YouTube channel. He was going to drive it, but I'm like, all right, you know what? Let me line up some actual customers first before I get you behind the wheel of it because I don't want this thing to be a flop. And then I don't want to have a car with 1,200 miles on it where everyone else doesn't have miles on it and I haven't done any revenue against it. So I had sold out weekends, as I said, the last two weekends. People call at least like four calls in the first weekend that I had this. The, the day after I picked it up, hey, um, like the Corvette Z06, like the Porsche. No, I'm sorry, I don't have anything completely sold out, but I've got the new 2020 Supra. Oh, cool. Not even how much does it cost? Not, I couldn't even get to the point where you may be able to say, well, you're probably asking too much. $750 a weekend. 349 a day. It's the cheapest car I have. I've got my Porsche, which is, uh, isn't even here. It's on rent. And the Corvette Z06, which is uh, effectively $15,000 more than this, which goes out for 495 a day and it goes out every day. Not every day, but like 18 days a month. So for this thing not to move the first weekend, I'm like, all right, maybe it's just a fluke. Second weekend, same thing. Anyone calls during the week, we've got the new Supra not interested. Got other companies are also sold out. They reach out to me for cars. Hey, I got the new Supra. Here's some photos. No interest. So everybody says they're going to rent it. And this is where I don't like some of you like you right there. They're like, Oh, I would totally rent it. No, you wouldn't. Because if you would, I've announced it, it's available. It's been available. Nobody's renting it. And I had to sell it. I cut it loose to a wholesaler. I don't need this thing. If it's not going to move, it was an experiment. I was like, Oh, cool. I think there's there's enough buzz around it. Look, it's not terrible looking. Like it's, it's not like it's, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is about this car, but this is a, a very ominous situation for anyone else that actually owns one of these because buying over sticker first off, you guys are probably nuts, but these cars long-term I, and it's not going to have the same fate as the NSX and the four GTs and all those other cars. And I'll explain why, because I, I think this is a, a good generic sports car for 50 grand. So I think it'll always have that value in that 40 to $50,000 range even used. So it's not going to be like the NSX, which they were 250 and they were selling for 150. But you have this car that just isn't an exotic car rental. And I've had success with Mustangs in the past, not the, the new one, because I think I may even cancel the new one now because for 90 grand, there's plenty of other cars I can get that would do much better. But this thing, it just doesn't make any sense. If I keep it, I've got to then title it. Uh, not it's on the temp tag, but the title, the registration, I would put it on my, my fleet line. That costs me money. The insurance is a couple hundred bucks a month. And for me to get that back out of this car, it's got to actually go out. So even for the rest of the year, if this is the peak season, this isn't me buying it in winter and crossing my fingers. This is peak season, as hot as the car is going to get, and nobody wanted to rent it. So 
gotta let it go. Uh, I'm sure you can buy it. It's not even like it could be considered a used rental because nobody even used the damn thing. So not the best rental, as I said. Uh, this is gonna be the last you see of this car on my channel because honestly, <laughs> honestly, nobody wants it. See this, I mean, this is a really cool super logo to be fair, but time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Uh, save all of your comments about, I would have totally rented it, totally, oh, you're getting that. Not doing it. I've got another one offered to me at list. Uh, so anyone who really, really wants a Supra, a re another red launch edition, email me. I'll forward you over to the dealership and boom, it's all yours. So there is, se there seems to be some sort of internet reception, but it's, it's like a lot. Of, I think that's going to fade real quick. That's my feeling. And if you're interested in my feeling, then you've just gotten it. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. For those of you not familiar with my other company, I started a company called Adventure Drives, which combines driving and bucket list travel. It's a lot of fun. If you're interested, prices can be done per person. It's don't worry. If you don't have somebody to go with you, we can match you up with somebody. You can check the link in the description for adventuredrives.com and sign up today.